Welcome to my video. Today I will present you a solar water heater I made and um, it's made out of a box, it's a sort of greenhouse box uh, of wood and uh, it's covered with a plexiglass. So if I take this off you can actually see the copper pipes. It's some uh, regular uh, plumbing tubings of uh, diameter 16 millimeters and uh, on one end you have the inlet it's divided by means of uh, small pieces, these T shapes, and uh, it's the the water is going along ten pipes to the top and collecting all together through this hose. So till now I only uh, made a test uh, by putting it full of water, leave it in the sun for like an hour, and then uh, leave the water out, and uh, in that way I reached uh, 64 degrees Celsius. So it's pretty hot, but uh, till now I didn't test how much water, how much liter uh, you could heat in, uh, for example, an hour. An hour. So the problem actually is that you have tubes, and uh, all together it's not such a big surface. So maybe if you will put all the pipes together, you have only like one third of what you are seeing here that's being uh, hit by the sun. The use of the greenhouse is actually to, to prevent the wind cooling down the pipes and uh, of course because it's painted black you have a small heel build up but uh, it's just a plexiglass so it won't keep it isolated very well. Right now I added an aquarium pump to the system. It's a small pump of 5 watts with a regulator on it. I put it to the minimum so the water coming out of the system is going at a slow speed so which, which should add a few degrees hopefully uh, to the water coming out of the system. So at this moment we are at 43 degrees, 42 and a half. Um, so as you can see the bucket is not insulated, uh, the hoses are also not insulated, so probably that's the reason we will never reach the maxim maximum temperature of 64 degrees. Um, for the rest I made a small container here which I insulated with some clothing and I will try to fill it up very slowly and in that way I can show you how the sun how the sun is uh, heating up with this system, the water. Uh, so in this container should be completely full at about 600 milliliter. So okay, let's put this to the slower speed. Something like that. And we will now add it to the container like this. So it's gonna fill up slowly and by measuring the water inside there I uh, should be able to test uh, how much uh, temperature I gained. So it's rather going very slowly So I left it pumping, uh, yeah, it took maybe like a minute and uh, yeah, it's not like it's really hotter. Um, yeah, it's already cooled down a little bit, so maybe not even one degree Celsius you gain. So I think the system doesn't produce a lot of heat. Uh, so okay, let's do another test. So I will close this. And I will leave it uh, like 30 minutes in the sun and see what the maximum temperature should be. So, so I've left the system for 30 minutes in the sun. So the temperature in the system should be quite higher. Um, so let's take out some 600 milliliters in this container and see what the temperature really has become. Yeah. 
and okay this is giving 65 degrees 65.5 